Hey guys, what's up? It's Lionel. Uh, we're going to be starting a new series, Sim Casino. Uh, I figured before we start the actual um, series of, of playing, I'd go over some pretty basic to do, like how to do things. Um, it's For the most part, it's pretty somewhat, somewhat common sense. I mean, you have your, your wall tool. So let you build a wall, fence, let you build a fence, you know, that's pretty basic. Uh, your foundation will let you actually build a building. So if you wanted like that, get the building now. Um, you have uh, zones. Most, uh, most of these game types are pretty similar. So if you want to destroy like this wall, for instance, because you don't need it, this fence. It's pretty easy. Some some nice things I didn't find out for a while was the shortcuts for these are sort of common sense. Oh, they actually are right there. I've never noticed that. Shift and control. Okay. And that works for outside that building too. Um, you have your entertainment, your gambling area. A lot of the stuff has to be unlocked through research, which is over here. Um, certain things need a zone, so like you need a research office to even research. So now that we have a research office, we're able to research now after I get a thing in there. I think you need a desk, computer desk, yeah. It's pretty simple. Um, it's a fun game. I think I have about 10 hours in it so far. I figure we'll do a series. Um, I bl I believe there's gonna be mods coming at some point. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty simple. You have a flooring. You can do the same thing. Control, shift, that fun stuff. Uh, you have your uh, casino cash. So we actually have a cash vault here. It's going to have where all your cash is that's going to pay out winnings pretty much. So eventually as we, as you build, let's see, we get a cashier guy here. I like to put him up in the front. Not really sure that it matters just yet, but we have slot machines, for instance, like say so you build a bunch of them. If you click and drag, if you want a bunch, um, if you go to it, it's going to show you. what it's made and stuff but right here it shows you uh, what the payout is and the cash within the machine is also a maintenance cost too and uh, you can actually here you can tell the guards how often you want it to be emptied your machine all your machines and stuff your tables and all that I think I do normally 40 40 seems like a pretty good pretty good amount um, so if we get this going for a little bit here, like you'll see this guy, this is a security guard, which is actually is a woman. She's going to, uh, stock the stuff. See how they're going to bring the machines in. Yeah. All the usual, um, ATM, same thing with the ATMs. There was just an update. I seen the cameras which would be in security. I don't have them unlocked yet, but. They got a bigger range now, like 40% or something, which is nice because I can remember having a big room and you have to drop a ton of them in. Air conditioning, I believe, these go on top. Eventually, I think they're going to be doing actual duct work to like actually disperse the air. Right now, you just chuck it on top and you're good to go. Um, and it'll tell you your guests will be unhappy when they uh, want some... But it's getting too hot for the amount of people in the building pretty much is how it works out. Uh, bingo halls. This is one different thing is you have to have a double wall. So when you build a foundation, you hit shift, tab, tab. It's going to do a double floor. So pretty much it's going to take up two floors instead of one. And what's cool is you can actually do balcony sitting on top up here. And there should be a 
Oh, we're in bingo. That's why I'm so confused. Theater. So you have um, seating. You can actually put around the outsides too if you wanted to. Or go inside the actual um, the room if you wanted to. It's pretty cool. Um, page up, page down, or some hotkeys for floors, or you can hit this right here. Either or. What else? Um, for the most part, everything else is pretty simple. You can dezone. Where's that at? Dezone. So if you needed, if you say you wanted to move this drop-off pickup area, you could actually delete it and move it somewhere else. Clone area tool is really nice. So like if you're building a bunch of bedrooms or for instance, you could do something like this and you can literally place, place another one, multiple for however many you want. That's one really nice feature. I didn't actually realize that the first time I did my hotel area, boy, did it take a while. Um, certain areas require certain things like, you know, most RT or not RTS, um, management type games. So like the security zone, for instance, requires camera booths. And it, as it says here, it can do eight cameras. Um, I don't believe they can switch out without manually needing to manually assign cameras. So unless it's fixed before I realized if you had like 10 cameras, only one of these guys, two of those cameras were never being viewed, uh, which sort of sucks because you normally would be able to cycle through them. Um, but I did I didn't I did not realize or notice if you could or not recently um, What else? Research is super important You unlock a lot a lot more stuff in research I kind of wish it was a little bit more granular where you could Control like the electrical and plumbing and all that too to kind of give you some more stuff because it's relatively basic right now and pretty easy these guys are your best friend to make money right now um they make the most money for sure i have so many slot machines in my main my main hotel or casino um i haven't really noticed the difference for these sometimes i never you don't really notice dirt or nothing unless just maybe my guys are clean cleaning off and i'm not sure it's definitely still in development. Just got lots of work to go through still. And I'm sure we're going to add a lot of cool stuff. I know they're going to be working on these things. I was, I was reading uh, forums about it. Because um, right now, like I said, you just plop it on top and that's about it. Um, same with the hotel stuff. It's very basic. Like You, get, you can actually go in here and, and say, where is it at? I think it's in here. No, here. Um staff where was that there's an area in here maybe I don't have it unlocked yet where you can so you can actually assign bedrooms per right here I already clicked on it so you can say what room type it is and it'll actually give you a grade so say I make a bedroom and I, I say it's a suite and they're actually going to give you like a um, satisfaction rating right here of the bedroom and stuff and if it's worth it or not pretty much and you can change your price if you want didn't really change that too much the one thing i did do a lot of is um i don't know if you can if i may not be able to do it just yet can i move this up so you can change the rating. So I would uh, just manually do it or automatically do all of these. Oh, look, we actually have people here already. Um, otherwise, it's pretty basic. If you have any questions, leave, definitely leave them in the comment comments, and I'll uh, get back to you. Um, the card, the cards, like these kind of guys, like car, all the card things, the blackjack and all that, like. I had tons of them. I had so many of them, and they just they weren't doing nothing really. I had like four thousand people in my casino and hotel and all that, and they just really weren't that great. Like they weren't making money. Dismantle. Um, 
yeah as we go through this series bars are are big like they love bars like i think i think the the bar the bars and uh the slots you just make so much money it's crazy so much money um so they should stock this if we increase speed yep so now we got guys stocking it and then there should be a person coming what i do like is that they automatically trust the staff are automatically hired for you you don't have to worry about messing with them the guys that do matter are these guys that actually let you hire and you can control how many you want obviously and how many you need it and it'll tell you in the bottom which is nice that you need more or you have too many sitting around you change repairs yeah it's it's pretty basic it's pretty easy it's fun um i need to get better with the um cosmetic because i'm I, my last the last one i did is just pretty basic it's filled stuff with some plants but nothing super nice about it and interesting and different this playthrough i want to do some different stuff make it make it a little bit more fun um then you have vending machines and all that fun stuff for people to uh enjoy from it's like you, just like you would in a casino slash hotel resort type thing uh it would be cool to have some more stuff pools and just more more things to incorporate um down here is a big thing too that's pretty important this will tell you how busy things are at certain times and if it's busy in this area because i don't know that we can see the area i don't think yet but there's other areas you can get other um like the city and stuff and they'll get, have higher ratings for the stuff which will give you more way more money like i was making so much money in my last game i was playing um but yeah i think it'll be fun um if you guys have any questions definitely leave a comment like the video subscribe it'll be fun uh you can join my discord if you want to come chat maybe play some games with me at some point hang out um i'll see you guys